We are at the end of second rehearsals. The final three countries, Germany, France, and Italy, have rehearsed, and we need to talk about it. Are you ready? Let's, Let's do this! this. Yes, Germany, my God, it is Mother's Day and he was feeling the emotion. I spoke with him afterwards and he was quite touched by the significance of Mother Day, Mother's Day. He talked about how his own mother has played such a huge role in his life. I was getting real, real choked up talking to him. And this performance, yet again, was on point. He is coming to life. I think in the past some people have suggested that perhaps he's a little stiff, but he's looser now. He seems yeah. looser and he's more comfortable with expressing his emotions and it's really got a flow. It has has a flow. There is, I've talked to people and so many people are touched by this. I feel like hype is starting to build for this. There's a little match that's been lit and the fire is coming from within him. I just hope that he continues on this trajectory because it's already in an amazing place that I think this is becoming a dark horse. I really do. I really think this creates an atmosphere and it stands out in so many ways. I'm wishing him so much luck. So, so much luck. It's a, decisive, a divisive entry in a way because there are some people who get very moved and emotional by it mm. whereas others feel that they're really like it's almost a manufactured emotion that they're creating they're really pushing it big time even with the LED being overdone and stuff like I was talking to some German fans and they felt that too but then there's other people who are deeply moved by seeing it so it, it'll be interesting to see what happens and ultimately at the end of the day it will be the people who are deeply moved who will have the upper hand because people who think it's tacky can't take points away from it mm. um, so I suppose it's about getting that message across and I think he's done a better job of getting it across today there were the cameras were that bit tighter and the LED was tidied up especially the kind of psychedelic effect um, and see it's stuff like I really like the psychedelic yeah. effect it's the the lyrics behind it that I think are letting it down and mm. because it's in English it doesn't need all this emotion like and literal interpretation but I get why people like it so much um, I don't see it winning Eurovision, especially now that it's been drawn in the first half, but... Salvador was first, Conchita was first half. But it could see Germany go from 27 to 26 to 25th. I am not gonna dignify that shade with the response. I will say I love the road graphic. That was in sharper focus today. You saw the road, very touching. They were 25th last year. This year it will be better than that. Um, no, I didn't. I do think that it is a very. I, I am moved by it. Um, not as much as I am with Lithuania, but I still do really appreciate it. You know, I think I said in the last video, it's almost like they're cheating. They're not. And I wasn't saying that they were cheating because I have people seen saying that. It's like, just because it was such a shock to actually see something like the LED or it's a projection, isn't it, actually? Mm. It's, it, it, effectively, it's not something where they're completely ignoring what Portugal wanted to do. Because I think that it actually does work. It's creative. It's something that nobody, everybody else could have done that and Germany thought of it. So fair play to them as far as I'm concerned with that. Yeah, I, I, am, I, love the, I love everything about it, really. It's very hard to actually nitpick because the camera angles are right, the final shot is amazing, the psychedelic thing is a little weird, and the red... I've seen a lot of people say it's a bit too aggressive, the red, because it's all red all of a sudden. I quite like it. Um, yeah, no, just really, really good, and it will easily be Germany's best result in, like, four or five years, however long it's been. Yeah, and that, that is the thing. There's a huge improvement here. No matter where this finishes, they can be so, so proud of this. I sound like a school teacher trying to encourage my children or something. Yeah. This is just amazing. I am touched every time. I've seen it now six times, and I'm still touched. Oh, hand out. High five, honey. All right, the next country was... Wow. Yes, ooh la la, so much better. They seem to understand you focus on the face of Amelie because she conveys emotion. It felt more intimate. The lighting scheme was significantly better. Now we have orange, okay? We have that hopeful orange, the sunrise. It, it touches you more than that aggressive red. I also like the white accent lights at the beginning against the dark blue. It's almost like a ship in the sea searching, like a, you know, a rescue ship searching for Mercy and her mother, or the unborn Mercy, rather, and her mother. It was much more touching. Um, I think sometimes, the, when, when she's walking over the bridge, it's nice. It's like, it gives it more pace. But then they cut back to jean Carl, and I don't know if they need to cut back to him, actually. I think maybe it might even be better if he's out of it till the end and they reun reunify. It's a small point. All I know is it's significantly improved. This is back in contention. Yeah, I, it, it is improved. And I still really, really like the song, but I just feel that the staging isn't getting the message across as much as it potentially could and I no longer have winner's vibes 
from oh. the song. And it's a shame because, like, it still is one of my favorite songs from today's bunch. But yeah, like, there are elements, the lighting is better. There's a very nice opening shot of the duo, which is really striking and impactful. Um, like, at this stage, it's what, day, day eight? And we kind of have seen everything so much many times and we've analysed things and we kind of nearly see fault where there isn't fault and I'm not sure what I'm, where my head is at this, whether I'm just jaded from it and maybe once we see it with a crowd it will bring it to life because it still has that mercy, mercy. And people are getting behind that, like even Robin and Suzanne were saying that during the live stream mm. everybody just filled up the comments with the, with the hand emoji. So like if the crowd, if people yeah. are doing that on the live stream on the internet, like if that can happen in, in a live arena, it would be really kind of a magical thing, and that would resonate with viewers. Yeah, because this is actually one where if they've got that and in the recap, even though it's in the first half now, I don't think that would harm it because it's such an impactful moment. And that's the real problem I still have with this is I don't feel like I can fairly judge this until I've seen it with an audience because. Mm. It's just so hard to say kind of where where it lies. Um, yeah, I mean, it was better. It still wasn't as it should be. It still wasn't the Eurovision winner that I hoped it would be. Um, even like the first shot. So the first shot, the first run through was Emily and Jean Carl stood next to each other, and that really worked. But then they went back to Emily by herself, and it's clear I still don't think that they have that vision mm. of what exactly they want. And it's great, you know, this is the time to do it. This is rehearsals. This is why you get it right for the night. But I just I am kind of getting that sinking feeling now that it, it it's not ever going to be kind of what I want it to be because this was the one. I don't know whether I really wanted it to win. I probably wanted Netta to win, but I think this was one I thought was most likely to win. And now it's kind of like, that's for neither of them. Um, yeah, I just hope that if it looks amazing with the audience, that it will be its saving grace. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be so, so key for the audience to be involved. Because right now there's a bit of distance, and I think that will warm it up. Mm. It'll make it... Because at the moment, Germany is touching me more than France is. But I think France has the capacity yeah. to all meet and just as the better, much. Ult ultimately, I think it has the better song as well. That's true. That's true. Although Michael Schulte, because he's so sincere when he sings, the cringe where the lyrics don't bother me. Like, I don't find them cringe. I find them sincere. But I totally understand it's a fine line, and some people may take it the other way. In any case, we round this out. And the reason I'm speaking so fast is the red carpet's about to start. So we got to get on that bus blue and edit carpet, these. Blue oh, carpet. sorry, blue carpet <laughs> is Italy. Um, you know, my reservations remain the same. I think the San Remo staging, which they've, which they've copied and pasted and put here, is fantastic. It looks great. It's atmospheric. They sing great. They've got presents. They're a little kooky, a little crazy, and they're a little different as well. Boho chic. But I don't like the on-screen lyrics. I still find them distracting. I still think it's too much. It crowds the screen. I want to focus on Fabrizio and Irmal's faces. They are so expressive. But instead, I've got all these words. It's just too much. It's too much. Yeah, because people aren't turning on Eurovision to watch like a Scandinavian crime drama where they have to read the subtitles and then they're not even sure what subtitles like if you stop paying attention to the subtitles then your language could pop up could pop up. Mm. Um, like it's a nice effect if it was a lyric video, but it's not a lyric video and it works like it works in the music video but here it doesn't and I felt it's strange because the song itself is one of the most gripping songs this year in that genre. But yet when it's on, I find myself not really paying attention to it because while it's very red, it doesn't stand out. And especially in kind of the running order of these rehearsals because they're red and we've seen it earlier with Michael Schultz. Maybe in the actual show when we see it in the proper real life setting and the real life running order, it might stand out more. But as of now, it's just fading away. And it shouldn't because it's a song that should be high impact. Yeah, I mean, I think I, I saw comments when we were talking about it the first time of why is it okay for Germany to have lyrics and Italy not to. The thing is, with Germany, the lyrics are still in the background. The lyrics are yes. almost the main players with Italy because they're so blatant and they take up so much space on the screen and it does block out your attention of Fabrizio and Ermel and that is a real problem. It's like when I, I watch, surprise, surprise, I watch a lot of anime and I watch subbed anime and I have to re-watch mm. the same episode usually because I'm so busy paying attention to, oh, what did that say? And I think that might be the problem. If you've not got an amazing yeah. attention span or you can't focus on two things at the same time, I think that this will struggle for that reason. They are very engaging performers is the thing. Um, but yeah, I just don't, I just don't know. I, I, 
yeah, I think I know there are a lot of people who really do love this, and I think they will love it regardless of the lyrics, and that might really move them. I do think that it, uh, in some way, it helps get the message across. But I feel like there should have, there was another way. They, if they had done what Germany had done, this would be really spectacular, and then they could lift it up that way. But or even just have the lyrics at the bottom. The yeah, fact that they're, subtlety. They're top right or top left. It, it's so blatant that it's really hard to pay attention to both things. If it was below, it would be fine. Germany's lyrics enhance, Italy's lyrics take away. I'm sorry, it, this is just the reality. In any case, we have got to go hit that blue carpet. We've got to go slip into our Sunday uh -huh. best, so we are going to say goodbye. Let us know what you think of Germany, of Italy, and of France here on Weebie Vlogs. Make sure to subscribe and switch on the notifications. And make sure to leave that like. And we will see you later. Bye! Bye.